Yo, what's up, y'all? So I bought a HP 15, and come to find out it has a bad keyboard. already pulled the keyboard out of it I found another one in the back of the shop that has some issues going with it same model so I'm gonna just go ahead and pull that screen out you guys um, this is very very easy repair um, you got a keyboard logo right here on the laptop so you just know to pull that screw out I've already done so um, I always know to try to check other symbols so you see you got a symbol here um, symbol here but none of those are indicating the key that is holding the keyboard in place so with that one screw out you should be able to take a spudger or a pry tool and gently just lift up on that keyboard and pull her on out um, from there you got a flap that's locking this ribbon in place you want to Take a tool, lift that up, pull your ribbon out. You've got your keyboard. Now, let's get this other HP, which is touchscreen, by the way. Let's put it right in place. Drop the ribbon in. Put your spudger down. And then from here, you just work it back in. It should snap in some type of way so that you know it's all the way down. And it doesn't hurt to double check back around. You might catch a snap or two. Keyboard is in and then to secure it in place, you just grab your screw. And hit her one time. Bow. The magic. This the wild stick, y'all. I love this thing. Uh, but yeah. And pretty much, you've just installed a keyboard. Unfortunately, when keyboards go bad, because the only thing that was wrong with the other keyboard, the only thing that was wrong with the other keyboard was that the shift key didn't work. But who, who can use a keyboard that doesn't have a shift key? So... Unfortunately, you can't just take the shift key off and put a new shift key on. You have to replace the whole keyboard. Um, so now I have the laptop on. And we're going to test it. We're going to test it. So as you see, got the laptop on. Uh, sign in. And let's go to the test. The keyboard. We got QWERTY. And when you test the keyboard, uh-oh, let's see. Oh, all right, they came through. Computer just got a little delay. It's going to say we got a bad keyboard here. And let's test shift. Okay, the shift key works. So we're good. We're good to go. We're good to go. We're good to go. Right. And we're back in business, y'all. So that, my friends, is how you replace a keyboard. And then you can go about testing the keyboard uh, after you put the keyboard in. So that was, what, less than four or five minutes? In and out, baby.